It can be a hard decision. Do I go with this one? No, that one. Yep, that's the winner. Or is it? Let's back up. Have you ever thought about what your odds are of winning? Or does one ticket have better odds over the other? So I just wanted something that would like give me a reason to buy one scratch it over another. And for me, the best odds seems like a pretty good reason. <laughs> Pierce Lamb, a 35 no, year old web developer and Tigered, created a website that shows what ticket should have the best odds of winning. No matter the ticket you buy, the state says you have about a 25% chance at any prize. His site, bestorganscratchits.com, recalculates the odds of winning any prize based on the limited number of tickets left. So take for instance, this ticket, Boot Scoot and Bingo. The state says almost 99% of the tickets have been sold. And knowing how many tickets have already been sold, Lamb can calculate your odds of winning are greater than, let's say, this one, which is only sold about 17%. Are you guaranteeing that this will win people money? No, <laughs> definitely not. So I got my two tickets, a boot, scoot, and bingo. His site says there's a one in two chance of winning any prize. So that means one of these two tickets should win a prize, right? Well, not exactly. Buy the entire press run. That's the only way you can guarantee that you get a winner. That's Portland State but Stephen Blyler, way, professor of mathematics and statistics. I mean, Basically, he's really smart at understanding the odds. The following example is based on buying two tickets each four times. For the one sample that you pick, how much confidence that you can have that you have a winner in those two? Well, 75%. Because half the time you'll have one winner, a quarter of the time you'll have two winners, and the other quarter of the time you won't have any winners. So you're telling me I have a chance. If anything, you know, it just makes it a little more fun and a little more easy to decide which scratch you want to buy. He says he's had some winners, but losers too, and says playing the lottery should be done for entertainment only. Oh, and my tickets? Neither were winners. Devin Haskins, KGW News.